Okay, picking up with the second derivative of example two, realize what we have starred at the very top of the screen here. We've got d squared y all over dx squared. That's going to be dy prime dt all over dx dt. Please do understand that y prime right up here, y prime dy dx is really a t. So what's dy prime dt? It's simply a 1. Now, down below, dx dt, if you think about it, you already found that. You found that in the early part. That's simply 1 half. And you're done. In other words, what you're seeing is this curve will always have a positive second derivative, regardless for any t value. Uh, so in other words, for all points, we're going to have a second derivative that's positive. Your curve is always concave up. By way of comparison, of looking at this very easy to make a mistake uh, situation, so very often kids want to take a second derivative of y with respect to t and a second derivative of x with respect to t, like right here. I guess I just want to point out that if we would have looked at dx dt, if I would have taken a second derivative, I'd get 0. And then if I were to divide by 0, of course, my second derivative wouldn't even exist, uh, meaning that you know, we wouldn't be able to refer to any type of concavity, which really wouldn't be making sense. So just wanted to, to point out to you the very importance of you know, this top of the screen here for a second derivative. Let's do another one. For example, 3. Uh, dx dt is plain and simply going to be the cosine of pi t, but of course the chain rule requires us to pull out a pi. The derivative of sine is cosine. We'll have the same argument, the same inside, but take the derivative of that argument and the outcome's a pi. dy dt, well the derivative of cosine is negative sine. But we're going to use the chain rule once again. So we'll get negative sine of pi t. So dy dx is going to be dy dt all over dx dt. And if we were to work that out, you can see pretty quickly we'd get negative pi sine of pi t all over pi cosine of pi t. Now, happily, the pi's are going to cancel out. And you could even more simply write that as negative tangent of pi t. In fact, that would be preferred. Now, as we talk about a second derivative, we'd have the second derivative of y all over, well, d squared y all over dx squared. We'll need dy prime dt all over dx dt. And of course, dx dt, we just found. It was up here. That's pi cosine of pi t. But taking the derivative of y prime, well, y prime is right here. So the question is, what's the next derivative of y prime with respect to t? Well, the derivative of tangent is going to be secant squared. But we're going to still have a negative. We're going to have a chain rule come out. And we'll have negative pi secant squared pi t. And uh, thankfully, you can see these pi's are going to cancel out. Now, dividing by cosine is actually the same thing as multiplying by 1 over cosine. So I hope it's not too much of a jump to see this is really negative secant cubed of pi t. Okay, we're going to wrap up right here as I'm actually running out of time. And we will continue making a video for this latter part.